This week, um, Bradford is an outstanding team, um, very experienced, well coached. Uh, obviously, has some big wins already with, uh, on the road to Notre Dame and Texas. Very good guard, uh, Carly Jones is outstanding, uh, getting in the paint, making plays for himself and others. Uh, Polite at the, the four spot is is really just a high high level athlete that can really play. Uh, he's Dynamic off the bounce, he can make a three. Um, athletic at the rim, uh, and then they they defend well. They don't turn the ball over much. Uh, they're well coached. Mike does a really good job with them, and, and uh, they're just playing with a lot of confidence and um, a lot of respect for what they're doing. Questions? Brad, with the injuries and everything that's going on, it seems like you're having a hard time to get this team into a rhythm yeah. and something that you feel comfortable with. What do you think you have to do other than getting back Marquise? Yeah, and getting I those mean, guys at in? the end of the day, I mean, we can't be the team that we that we all want to be until we have everybody out there, you know, with some consistency um, in practice. It's just, I mean, you know, you just need players, and uh, when you're, you know, two of your best players have been hurt, you know, a good part of the year, it's going to set you back. Your timing and rhythm uh, is going to get set back. Having said that, you know, we just, we haven't played our best. Um, you know, we didn't, we didn't play as well defensively in the game at Mississippi State. You know, some of that's probably on me. I was probably worried about being able to score uh, without Marquise in the lineup. So, I mean, we worked on our defense, but uh, we spent some time, a lot of time on offense and tried to create some Situations we thought would be beneficial uh, for our guys to give them confidence. I thought it helped Amir, um, and he showed that Eli was very good. But you know, defensively we weren't we weren't very good, and uh, you know I've been disappointed in our defense. You know, at times this year we've been good in a few games, but um, other games we haven't been good at all. And, and uh, you know, we need to be better in that area, regardless of who's playing. That doesn't. That shouldn't affect us um, offensively. It's going to affect us some when we don't have our some of our better scores. But defensively, we, we need to be able to make up for those things. Brad, where is Marquise right now? Uh, I don't know. You know, really. Uh, you know, I don't think he'll play this weekend. I don't know about next week. Um, he just uh, you know he's got his brace on. He's starting to do some stuff uh, with Brad. Uh, I'll probably know a little bit more today is when I was going to give a little bit more intel, um, but he hasn't practiced. Uh, so, you know, it's just he's got a sprain and he's out. Brad, if you're self scouting yourself, uh, it seems the teams are, are really trying to extend your defense and get, get you the three point line right now. What do you see right now through self scouting yourself that's creating yeah. that? Um, yeah, our three point defense last week was terrible. Um, you know, and some of that is the talent of Mississippi State with 19. I mean, there's, there's probably five threes that they made that are you shake your head a little bit, like congratulate them. Well, those are tough shots. Um, but there's probably 10 that we feel like we could have been in better position to do things. And, uh, you know, that's that's stuff we got to correct. Uh, we allowed St. Peter's to make 10 threes against us, and there's probably six of those threes that we feel like situations where we were correctable. And, uh, you know, some of our perimeter players especially have to play with more urgency on defense. Uh, they just, their effort level is not where it needs to be. Their attention to detail from scouting um, isn't where it should be. Um, you know, and that's, that's stuff we've obviously addressed. We've had three very challenging days of practice defensively here. Um, try to Improve those areas this week, Brad. I, I think before the season we talked about maintaining the edge, um, mm -hmm. and I guess the chip on the shoulder, of whatever, in, in the wake of really high achievement. Is that somewhat applicable in this case? Like, would, would you yeah, talk I mean, I, maybe a little. Uh, I, I just think, I think there's some frustration from injuries. I think there's some frustration of not having everybody, and and uh, you know. In, in practice, I think, you know, especially through the first part of, I mean, the first month of practice, no Trey Jemison, no Malik William, really not much Elijah Thomas. 
you know, shove, make sure you hold him occasionally. I mean, pretty soon you're out there with, you know, you just don't have enough guys to compete. You know, AJ leaves, and now all of a sudden, you know, you're just in a situation where you're not having enough competitive bodies going against one another every day to put you in that game speed mode that you need to be in. And <clears throat> we've, uh, you know, here the last couple of weeks, we've just, you know, now that Eli is back and has had two good weeks, I told everybody that as soon as he has two, as soon as he's back for 10 days or whatnot of practice, he's gonna play fine. Um, and you can see a difference in him the last week versus you know, the first two weeks of the season. Um, but now, obviously, without Marquise, there's still some changes that we're making. Now, I do think some of the younger guys and the Clyde Traps and the Mir Sims of the world and the freshmen, I do think those guys are improving. I don't think we've seen it out of our freshmen yet. Um, and we need to. They have to help us, especially with injuries. They got to play better. They got to make some baskets. They got to they got to do a few more things for us. And, and we feel like they're improving. But it's been challenging, I think, for for some of our older guys just to not be like healthy and really competitive and going at it. And we know exactly how we want to play, and this is what we're doing um, with everybody there. Because we, like when Eli's not out there, we play differently than when Eli's out there, obviously. Um, and obviously, the same is a little bit true with Marquise. And so I, I don't know. Some of it may be a little bit of a lack of edge. Some of it's just a little frustration, I think, from not kind of having everybody at the start. We had everybody all summer and felt like we were getting better and doing a lot of good things. And then it's kind of frustrating that most of it's happened, especially with Eli, right at the beginning of the season.